professional pet groomer since 2003, but more importantly, I am your go-to groomer on the web. What do I have for you today? Today's tutorial is all about nail trimming. Probably something that a lot of you struggle with. Um, maybe you just need better instruction or a little bit of confidence boost. Um, either way, that's what I'm here for. Um, you can do it. I have put together some great information packed inside this little tutorial today. Um, you won't want to miss any bit of the details that are first in things this. First things uh, first, we're going to need to check out an illustration right now together of a dog toenail. I think that's the best place to start, so let's do that. So here's our little lesson on the dog nail and they're quick. The quick is the blood vessel inside of their toenail. Um, this diagram shows you completely what it looks like, you know, what can't be seen inside the dog's toenail. And I think this is important for you to take a look at this before you would attempt to trim your dog's nails at home. Um, it's important to understand this. You can see this diagram is labeled um, cutting line and that would be as far as you would want to go. When we start to see a little dot when we're trimming their nails, that dot means we are right there at the quick. You keep going further, you're going to get blood. Uh, that's what we don't want, guys. This is my favorite nail trimmer that I have uh, always come back to over the years since I've been a groomer. It's made by Miller Forge, and I will have a descriptive um, little image at the end of this video to show you where to get it and how how much it costs they're very inexpensive but they work the best they are nice they're quiet which is very important when you're trimming a dog's nails and they have this guard as you can see I'm swiveling it there you can use that I don't use it I'm pretty good at gauging how far to trim on a dog's nail but if you're not that comfortable with it you might want to slide that guard in the middle like that and it will protect you from going too far when you're trimming the dog's nails. Um, it's just a little safeguard, but they, they are nice, these clippers. They, they do not make a lot of noise. Dogs tend to tolerate them very well. So this would be um, um, my suggestion to you guys. These are considered a plier style nail trimmer. Um, and they, they're sharp, they trim very well, they're safe, they're easy in your hand. They're, you know, very comfortable, um, and you can use them on, I mean, I even use them on, on bigger dogs, that's for sure, like big dogs, to be honest with you. I go for these first. If I'm having trouble with these because I can't quite get it around the dog's nail because the dog's nail's that big, then I will switch over to um, something more like this. And, and this is a just a bigger version. It's a little more um, substantial. It um, definitely makes a little bit more of a pop when you trim the nails. Dogs don't always like that. You know, they get a little nervous when they hear that. They're already nervous that you're trimming their nail. Um, but it also allows, if you ever have a nail that has curled up, not necessarily curled into the bed of your dog's pad. Let's hope that never happens. But if it does, this is a type of trimmer you would need. As you can see, it has an open end, meaning you can get around it. Now, that Miller Forge that I showed you earlier is, is closed. It, you can only put the nail inside of the clipping area. Um, but this one's open, so you can get into a nail that is, is looped around. Some, some dogs have a nail that will curl just naturally. It's just by design, by their design. And you would need a, a trimmer 
like this if that's the case to get in around the nail so you can clip it um, but and, and they, this has a, a guard on it just like the the other model that I showed you this one is just uh, it's much more substantial it's um, it's more it's more of a beefier nail trimmer um, it uh, it does make a noise <laughs> when you trim the dog's nail if by chance you would cut too close to the quick you might see some blood come to the surface of the nail hopefully you don't cut too far because your dog's nails can bleed profusely <laughs> um, so that's why you take little bits at a time when you're trimming their nails but this is steptic powder and it will stop the bleeding and there's full instructions on on the back of this container and I suggest that you have it on hand as I've mentioned before in previous videos these tabletop grooming tables and also portable grooming tables are really gonna make your life much easier for trimming nails grooming and brushing and they're inexpensive sometimes the tables do not come with a grooming loop so I recommend this one by groomers helper you can purchase all these things on Amazon guys Hey guys, if these videos and tutorials are helping you, please click on the subscribe button. Then you won't miss anything that I upload. And don't forget to ring that cute little bell that sits right beside the subscribe button. This clip is just to show you how I position the dog when I need to trim the nails. And I suggest you guys take a look at it and do the same. They need to be standing comfortably. They do have to balance themselves on three legs. Um, you want to tip the the pole back towards you so you can see and away from them so they don't really know what's going on well they do but um, and same with the front leg like this I, I put my finger kind of in their armpit there just to make them want to naturally stick that leg out and stick it back for me and it, and it works great okay now we got all that learning stuff out of the way let's get to it okay so we're ready to go here I put my thumb kind of in their pad there as you can see it makes them want to kind of spread their toes out which is very helpful and then I have my first finger and my middle finger and my ring finger kind of supporting and pushing their toes whichever toe I'm working on um, I push the nail up a little higher to separate it from the other nails um, I don't know if that makes sense so you might want to replay that and listen to what I just said sometimes I have to um, hear things several times but you can see I have my finger in his in his pad there and then I'm pushing up with the fingers underneath pushing up on the toe that I'm working with see that black dot that's the quick we can't go any further than that and we do want to see it we just don't want to see red that's blood <laughs> On a black nail like this dog we're using you'll see that the quick is a is a black dot in the middle and that's that's not the vein it's just getting close so it's a black nail black dot here I'm gonna show you a clear nail a white nail it has more of a pink dot in the middle it will not be black but that's the quick as well so white nail pink dot Let's take one more look at that pink dot see that that's the quick guys no further than that if you really feel you need to use power tools there is such a thing called a dremel dremeling the dog's nails it does do a nice job I'm not going to show you guys how to dremel nails because there are dangers involved and I do not want to set you or your pet up for that the Dremel gets very hot against their nail and it, it can be dangerous but what I will tell you is when I Dremel nails I do cut them first I cut the dog nail with a nail trimmer first because then I don't have to sit there and Dremel and Dremel the dog has to tolerate that and it can be quite annoying to them so I, I do trim the nail first here's a great tip use a file to soften those edges after you've trimmed the nail it it only takes a second on each nail and the dog doesn't seem to mind it that much as, as compared to a dremel as you can see here you just soften that edge as we just trimmed it you're good to go 
Okay, now groomers, this one's for you. A good way to introduce yourself to your community and to possibly reach out to new clients, um, or if you're not even looking to reach out for new clients, uh, a nail social is a great idea. <clears throat> I've done it before and I have ended up getting lifelong clients from the nail social that I hosted at my salon and basically means um, for that particular day you advertise just on social media would probably be good enough um, you could put a, a, a cheap ad in your local paper usually they're like six or eight dollars if you want to uh, but just nails only okay and it's a drop-in thing you post your hours I did mine for only four hours I was like I don't want to be down there all day just waiting to trim nails so I did uh, four hours you know and it turned out great light refreshments have there for you know clients um if your salon is kind of small like most of our salons are uh you have planned on a nice day you know on a nice month of the year and have outside you know a social area for clients to actually mingle a little um while you take one at a time and spend a little time with their dog and trim their nails and show them how uh, professional you are and how professional your facility is and that's what they need to know they need to know that they can trust you that you know what you're doing you produce quality work and that they like you most importantly and they're gonna watch you with their pets and see if their pets like you and if you're a groomer you, you know you're a dog person so no worries there <laughs> um, but uh, try it sometime don't uh, ever be afraid to put yourself out there to um, have people get to know you and understand you and that's how they're going to um, they need to fall in love with you because they're leaving their pet with you but nail socials fun time you know good things good things display your accomplishments for your clients share with them your achievements um, you know this is benefiting them and their pets they they would love to know these things it's it's not being showy it's saying I put the extra mile in this is the Miller's Forge clippers that I recommend you can get them on Amazon and this is a beefier model of the Miller's Forge clipper both of these you can get on Amazon as you can see they're very affordable this is the Steptic powder Thanks for watching, guys. This is Pearl. She's my baby. I appreciate you supporting my channel, and I hope that you click on the subscribe button and ring the bell so that I can bring my new footage and updated videos to you as they come out, which they will be coming out weekly. And they are going to be definitely worthwhile. So thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day.